How's it going everybody? Roke here. I'm going to show you this parrot water feeder that we uh, are making. See, I got my PVC pipe. Come here. I'll have to put some brackets here. And the only other thing we're going to hook up here is a pressure regulator where we can adjust the pressure going into the hose. So we got all uh, everything we got here is from Home Depot. We got the hose. Except for the nipples, I bought those off of eBay, which came with these plastic tees. I prefer brass because they're easier to hook up. And and that's what it looks like right there. Those are the nipples right there. And uh, all we did is run them down each cage. All the way down, across, back over. They got to put some more cages here, so we left enough hoses and uh, tie strapped it. Another pack of tie straps to use. Here's some of the stuff I needed right here. That's to hook up a hose to a hose. We had to use this one. So we got two of those. Three. Estoy grabando todo lo que estamos haciendo. It's another part right there. So that's what we use. So if you want to make that deal, there you go. And this is the hose. That's the hose right there. Three eighths by a quarter. They can handle 55 pounds of water. And the rows come in 20 feet, and they also come in 10 feet. So, that's it. And to bleed out the line. We still got more holes to buy, but they ran out. So to bleed it out, this is what you're gonna make right here. So you open this up and it bleeds out the water. Or you can hook it up and run it to for the chickens on the ground. Drip there. Better. And the parts we bought off eBay, that's what they look like. Something like that. Like that, and the springs that come with it. This is what we got to hook up one hose to another hose. And these are what the nipples look like. You gotta adjust this right here for the spring tension inside. That way it makes it softer. And these pieces go screwed on there, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, and it just hangs up. Pretty simple to do. Yeah, that's what they look like. Uh, use the Allen wrench that it comes with to adjust it. So, made everything so much easier. And we'll just hook them up on each cage. So, when you run the hose, wherever you want to put the T, just cut it with the scissors. Then you run it every way you want it. See, there's a nip there. Let me go see. Yeah, the food's gonna be over here. Ella tiene, ella tiene que poner la comida para este lado. Porque ya no va a necesitar el agua. So, basically, instead of having the water mess like that, you have everything clean with those nipples. And the reason we didn't go with the, the plastic ones because the parrots are eating right through them. And uh, we made the hoses like one foot long. It's on a row that comes with 10 feet. You get 10 pieces of tea and just hook it up. We got everything pre-made already. So when we get the rest of the hose, we're ready to go. And uh, I'm going to put some more boxes here. My little Marine. What's going on, Alex? My mom. 
moving the food on the opposite side of where the water's at so you don't contaminate anything. Uh, but that's it. The only difference I would do, I'll put a, a water regulator on this. And uh, that's it. Pretty simple. Gave you a list of all the parts and the hose, as you can see. So, trying to run it all the way back around this side over here. Then on the outside, I wanted to uh, put a bucket where it can drip inside the bucket. Then from there, uh, we're gonna have a PC pipe. Actually, we can hook it up to a PVC pipe like we did that and have nipples there for the chickens can get water. That way you ain't gotta worry about giving it water. It'd be one whole system feeding everything. And we can uh, put those water nipples probably over here in the grass would be better. That way they can always have their raw uh, water. Oh, let me see if I got any information on this box. I don't know if that does any good for you. Yeah, it came from China. That's it. Yeah, they're already pre-made, you know. That way, uh, got those pre-made. So, get on, come here, so I can show you. So, lo que va a ser quitar dispuesto, lo quita aquí. Pon el otro brass ese, connect the hose, tie strap it across. Y esta pieza, yeah. Tie it up here. ¿Tú lo vas a poner para esta cotorra también aquí o no? Pues ponla ahí. Ahí y el drag ahí para la mata de aguacate. No, eh, eh, mira, lo que tú haces después, el PVC, lo mismo como ponemos la punta para poner la manguera de agua, tú lo pones también eso. Y después um, yo lo voy a abrir los huecos para poner los otros nipos para tener agua para los pollos aquí frente. Así lo, no se necesita echándole no, agua no, no, a los pollos. No, no, no. Esa agua ya no sirve. Why? Porque es un agua vieja ya. No, that's how water gets bad. Eso es agua pozo, mira, en dos días ya con este. No, pero es, es lo mismo que está tomando los cotorras. Él lo va a hacer lo mismo. ¿Y esta cotorra también nos va a echarle agua o no? Hey, ¿y estas cotorras acá? ¿Eh? So va a tener que traer la, correr una, la línea así y irla para acá. No, pero con esa misma línea, you, you throw it over here. Lo pasa por el huequito y pues lo corre allá adentro. Well, that's it for today, guys. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you around the next project. Just helping out my parents with an automatic water feeder for the parents, okay. um, for the parrots.